do this in memory of me. Yeah, it's a great celebration today, the 50th anniversary of St. Peter Julian Amard. It's, uh, when I was growing up, this was the parish next door. So I grew up in Kilside, and it, in those days, the parish, our parish was uh, St. Edmunds in Croydon. So uh, it was the parish next door. Then when I went to Mount Lilydale, um, half the kids came from SPJ. So that's when I first um, got engaged with the parish. But much later on, as I became a dad and, and uh, uh, our kids were baptised here, at, well actually at St Richard's, when it was part of the SPJE parish. So our two girls were uh, baptised by Father Andrew. So uh, yeah, great connection with, uh, with this church. We're here today because it marks 50 years of Mural, Church in Mirrorback and there's so much effort gone into it because there's so many people have contributed to making this parish such a vibrant, welcoming parish that we are. And we had to acknowledge that. We had to acknowledge our history, we had to acknowledge our current situation and then we had to look at planning our future of church in Melbourne. What stands out for me is the cultural diversity we now have in this parish and that's something we wanted to certainly showcase today. And we've got people from, I couldn't even tell you how many countries now that come through our doors and we have to welcome everyone. We've also got our own parishioners who have got so much to offer in terms of you know, what their history is with the parish, the people they have known, the people who have made this parish great, that not everyone's aware of. So we need to make sure that this today is about them too. Well, it's always been a, um, a really active and vibrant community. Um, obviously the change is what you see with the, you know, the buildings at the school and uh, those sorts of developments, but it's always been a, a vibrant church and you saw it here today. It's, um, so I'm sure it's going to have a great 50 years ahead of it. Yeah, I feel really privileged to be the parish priest in this uh, great parish and uh, I really want to recognize many parishioners, past parishioner, parish leaders, past parish leaders, current parish leaders, their tremendous sacrifice and love for the church and love for God. Yes. It has been inspirational in the past seven years. Yeah, while well, parish, uh, I believe, is a thriving even though we have had some parishioners pass away, but we still have uh, quite a number of new parishioners coming to this parish. And we have a good mixture of elderly parishioners, the middle-aged parishioners, the young parishioners, where often they are migrants. But uh, I think really a very great, um, I say the international melting pot. <laughs> Yeah, I think our parish, when I came here seven years ago, was very Australian, uh, Anglo-Saxon, you know. Till now, I'm very pleased, uh, I'm Chinese origin. And uh, our parish has really become so diversified, multicultural. It really reflects, it's a reflection of the society of Australia. And, uh, basically, we can walk and live uh, in harmony with each other. It's, it's a, a miracle, I would say. Being a tradesman, I was sort of seconded with the guy that was doing the electrical work. So I did a little bit, but as soon as you walk into the place, if you were a tradesman, grab it. <laughs> Moving from St Richard's to Murrabah was a really, really big hurdle to, to overcome. Uh, fortunately, we had a good leadership team. Father Joseph made sure that everyone was included. We communicated with all the parishioners, both St. Richard's and Peter Julian, and we made sure that everyone was comfortable. We had a few heated meetings of, of the two parishes, but ultimately, I think the goodwill and the faith of the parishioners brought us together, and it was so successful. And today, it's seamless. It, it's a community that has come together through a difficult time, and now we're just one.
and I think it says a lot for the parish community and the leadership team. We've still got a lot of old friendly faces, but there's a lot of new diverse cultures, like uh, different people from different countries, and, which is fantastic. There are people from about 50 countries in this parish, and you look at us today and you think that it, we're all from the one country. There is no difference. Everyone is welcome, everyone prays together, lives together, works together for the betterment of this parish. Because I think, most of all, we are proud of this parish.